Let's solve the composite trig function. We're going to start off here by solving the inside of this equation, the inverse sine of negative one half. The bounds of inverse sine is from, or excuse me, is from negative pi over two to pi over two, which means since this is negative, it's going to be in quadrant four. And the sine of negative one half in this case is going to be approximately right here at a 30 degree angle. So this can be negative one, two, root three which means that this is equal to negative pi over six. But simply, that's the same thing as just plugging in tangent of negative pi over six into the equation. And you can look at this, this and you can determine that right away. So it's opposite over adjacent. So it's negative one over root three, or simply it's going to be equal to, if you need to get rid of the radical, negative root three over three. That's it.